Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. Um, it is going to be October 2018 right now. Three weeks early for Colorado, we got a nasty storm last night, busted branches, everything. Um, we did not think it was going to come in this bad. We were actually going to uh, take our RV and use it at a job site, and then it was like it came in so quick. So anyways, this is a 2012 voltage uh, toy hauler, fifth wheel. Um, it is about 15,000 pounds. Uh, it has one bathroom, one kitchen, and um, of course the full bath. So I want to explain real quick, if you get caught in a bind and like I did, just keep in mind that you want to drain the underbelly, the, the, the fresh water, right away. Yours will be different than mine maybe. There's a big uh, white valve down here you're going to pull. You can drain your gray, not your black of course, but you can drain your your gray real quick here and get those dumped and the cold, fresh water because if you don't have time to take it to black and it's already nighttime and you know it's a Sunday or something keep in mind you can also just drain there's two little knobs up front underneath and then there's one knob right here right there that's the lowest point so you want to get those four done immediately you want to have on hand at all times water heater socket label it hot water heater this was a funky size I had to get four years ago it's an 11 uh, sorry it's a 1 in 1 16th for that hot water nut okay I always keep that on hand keep it where I know it's at because um, I drained that last night you, you uh, and I don't want to open this up I'm sorry but you'll crack that nut pull it it has the heater core on it it'll drain out make sure pull up your pressure release valve and then it really dumps and I had a whole lot of water out of here that's important that's gonna be uh, four that's number five and six and then seven go in there to all your valves inside and make sure you open them if you have a washer dryer your sink your toilet up here you know your shower open them all up and then we have an outside little shower out there where I was showing you. Make sure those are all open so it drains really fast as well as you're getting the pressure out with the hot water heater. Because that'll get you through the night so you don't have to worry about freezing. If you're still concerned because you got black waste like we did, about a third, you could take some antifreeze, dump it down. It has to be that RV marina. Keep a little spare on you and that'll get you through from it freezing. This has an arctic package, so the underbelly is insulated, but it had to be pulled off to fix something, so who knows how perfect that R value still is. Um, when you go to winterize, because now you got time and you went like we did today, the next day, the storm passed, you're going to want to keep in mind that you don't have to deal with the hot water tank again. Well, what you do have to do... Because we don't have an extra bath and kitchen, and we're not doing our washing machine, we've, ne we've never used it. You're gonna need three of these jugs. They're at Walmart, about four bucks, so about thirteen dollars. Don't be cheap and wreck your RV over fifteen dollars. So you're gonna have to have a short hose. The RV mechanic put this on last year for us because when I was trying to get one in and out, I couldn't get it that in as far as the hose into the jug, and she was. My wife was still sucking the antifreeze through the system. Well, our pump was weak, and so it went out. So he had to fix the pump, and I said to him, I'd like to have a valve where I could turn off so I'm not sucking air and then stick into the another jug because we can't hear each other when we're running the generator. Really dumb they didn't put something out here. But anyway, so we'll go through now and have her turn on the system, hit water like you're going to use water like you always do, and then we'll open this valve, suck this down, shut it off, keep that you'll keep on that water pressure uh, pump okay because this will keep it from siphoning air you'll use all three of these jugs about two and a half then you take your extra last half jug and dump it down the crapper and let that just sit down there you're gonna want to make sure you get those packets in there to eat up any of your uh, solid waste because it's got to continue to eat that that bacteria um, and then we're probably going to dump it here in a week or two for sure with the black waste, but you want to leave a little water and antifreeze in the bottom 
because and some more packets because it needs to continue to eat anything that's at the bottom okay through the winter but anyway so this is going to be how it's set up for us you're going to want to bypass your hot water heater you do not want to suck antifreeze into that and then you want to bypass your winter okay because now that's going to go into this the, the mode where it's going to suck your antifreeze through and pump it okay and then this again the bath valve you want to keep that shut and your toilet you do not want to leave this open with your cap now our kitchen drain gallery is right there under there you do not want to leave that open and then the big water tank you do not want to leave open you don't want air zipping through there freezing whatever's left inside and wrecking pipes okay so other than that um you can pour a little bit of this antifreeze down your p-traps of your sinks and your shower probably much advised as well as that toilet like i said this will keep you from um, freezing anything over the winter um, if you need to use your RV again, just de-winterize it and winterize it again. Maybe you don't, we don't get a storm for two more months, but we're probably going to pack that up for the winter. And then if we end up needing to use it, we're just going to carry those big blue jugs from um, home, uh, home Depot and Walmart. They carry water. They're blue, you'll know, and they're about eight to 10 gallons. We'll just put 30, 40 gallons in the back of the toy hauler. When we want to use the toilet, we'll just dump it in, use the toilet, flush it. The sink, same thing. Then driving home, dump your gray, and then go to your RV place and dump your black waste. Um, again, it's not illegal to dump gray. Uh, most of us aren't gonna put food in that tank. If you're or wise, you're not gonna wreck it. So um, other than that, so this is kind of how to winterize when you're in trouble. Uh, most RVs are the same. Maybe the winter bypass is different, but keep that in mind. The other thing is, is that when you do want to winterize, like we had to run this for the night, it drained. You make sure you kill all your 110 breakers in it. You don't need the TV, the VCR, or anything trying to trickle charge and kill it because we've got three TVs on this, four. So we just kill all those breakers. You do need the converter on though when you're running it. If it dies like it did for us, we left the truck overnight hooked up, but you do not leave this cord on. You leave this cord on through the night, it's gonna suck those batteries, then go to your two batteries on your truck. And we have two six volts here and two 12s. I've done that once, it'll kill all of them. Now you're gonna be trying to figure out how to get to your place where you store it like us and getting a small 1500 watt generator like we have, running that in order to charge your converter and or your battery deep cycle charger to your truck and then to your RV, and that's a real pain. Do not forget to take this off because this ended up being our jump start for the night and our jumper for our legs. Many times our batteries are disconnected or left at home and we use this just to lower the legs and get the RV back over home because it works that way. Um, anyways, I'll do some other videos. This is getting kind of long, but just a quick starter on if you get in trouble like we did, make sure you have a backup plan to get that thing winterized or at least get all the water out that night no matter how cold it was about i don't know it, with the windshield it felt like negative five but we got caught in it for an hour um so just uh hopefully that guys will help you out um so you don't wreck your rv all right thanks